up guys my nationwide those are the boys warming up where's the big man at well sir make your man, give us a prediction who wins today fairly dig and timber Purdue. I get a feeling that Purdue is going to win. I don't know why, but I just kind of get that feeling in my mind. All right, not because they're a one seed or they have one of the best players in all college basketball. I wouldn't say that. All right. Just that they're Purdue, maybe? I get the feeling with a lot of teams that I see. All right. Well, you heard it from Metal Man himself. Purdue's going to win this game. How big? That I don't know. Maybe 10, 20, 30 points? Maybe two points? 20. 20? Okay, so he thinks it's going to be fairly decent. He thinks he'll beat him about the same way Alabama beat Corpus Christi. As you guys remember, I have Purdue going to the Sweet 16. So they're going to win tonight, and they're going to win Sunday against FAU or Memphis, which will be who we watch next after this. Edie should eat FDU alive in the paint. They're not physical enough, and it's going to wear on them after a while. It might be close for the first half, but Purdue's going to wear on, wear on them after a while, and it'll get ugly. All right, guys, the big man has been spotted. He's been spotted. I was looking for him for a while, and I found him. He's right there. I look at him warm up by driving to the hoop there. He's trying to get himself coordinated for when he has to play these guys. Because one thing that's a key is if FDU can keep this guy from scoring, they've got a shot here. I know 16 seed has only won once in the uh, the history of the 64 team field, but it can happen. March Madness, anything can happen. So if they if they play the press really well and hold this guy to almost nothing, they're good. Doesn't mean a whole lot right now, but they're playing that press well like I thought they would. A little over excessive for one guy. I get it, he's wooden player of the year, but Still a over excessive. After you giving them all they can handle early on. Almost almost a quarter through the game, they're giving all they can handle. Up. He can't. They, they, he now cannot be stopped. Just a second ago, he was cold and couldn't make anything. Now he can't be stopped. This is where they get dangerous. Ooh. Wow! They, Purdue has no answer either. This is crazy. No answer early on for Purdue. 
They got, I think there was a foul. Yeah, I think that was a Purdue foul. Surprisingly, surprisingly Purdue only has one more. Big man on screen. <laughs> Just imagine if we win. I mean, they play Saturday night kind of nice, but that's a winning song. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> that is kind of funny, though, that, that concept. Oh, that's good. 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 Hell yeah, my ref, dude. Yes. Remember, we did actually play that one time. Was that was that Indianapolis? Yeah, when we when when the Raiders beat. The yes, Bulls. that's right. It was. That was awesome. And then, then we we were listening to Steel Panther. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. We'll kick around. Oh, yeah. We'll start kicking around. Put them out. Yeah. I'll have to let them know like during July like that. Mm -hmm. I did not let those go. Um, I'll figure it out. I'll figure something out. Yeah. Oh, right, look how cool that is with that. Look at that dragon. That's cool. It's going to be great. The energy in this arena just changed. Yep. This game's about to turn and get ugly. Yeah! We just took the lead. This one might be over. I already have that feeling that it might be over already. Just by the energy. Oh, absolutely not. They just missed We had to play from behind. Yeah. And you guys remember that because, uh, you guys remember that because I vlogged that game for you. Wow. Wow. FDU ball. Let's go set yourselves up down there. I thought by now Purdue would have just pulled away and it'd be like an 18 point lead or something. Here they are. They're allowing FDU to hang around. That, pre that press is really proving to be a bit of a problem early. Still a lot of game. Wow. That's an offensive foul, too. It goes back to Purdue. Dan close. Huh? So that was Dan close. Good. They're 
still close though. I would have thought by now Purdue pulled away. Oh. Oh, I wish you called that, but not looking good. A three will really hurt him here. Money. They they keep they can't make any three. They've only made a couple all game. I think they've only made two. Man. Guys, we are 18 17 and a half minutes in this game. And FDU is not trailed by more than five points. Yeah, we're at a one point game. It's because FDU's playing the right game. They're going to the inside. They're not taking any risky shots. And they're playing really good press and giving Purdue offensive trouble. That's how you pull this off. Don't be stupid and take the shots you can make. Like I've noticed a lot of underdog seeds did this, this in the last couple of days. Like Louisiana. They move slow and they go for shots that are either going to make them or break them. Take the inside shots every time you can get them. That was terrible. Finish. Money. There we go. They, they're cold in the threes. I think that helps out to you too. Purdue has not been great at free throw shooting so far. Rebound. Put him down. Lead. Yes. We took the lead. Let's go. One point lead for FDU late in the first. Come on, boys. They're flustered. FDU, they look like champions right now the way they're playing. I wouldn't quite say that, but I would say that they, uh, they've been playing really well, that's for sure, giving Purdue some trouble. That's the weakness of FDU. Even if they played really good press and they play really good interior defense, they're still going to have trouble with that guy. It does not matter. Too big, too physical. You guys feeling the energy here? Feeling that fairly Dickinson energy? Every second that goes by, no answer for them. They're hanging around. Almost a full half, and they have not trailed by more than five points. And I saw Northern Kentucky hang around with Houston, so I'm very impressed with it. Very impressed. That's crazy, guys. Beautiful work on the interior game. Now this is what the lower seeds need to learn from. Don't go for the gusto, take what you can get. Go for the easy points. Go to the inside. A lot better going close and trying to live or die by the three. They've won.
Hey boys. Right, let's see if they can hit like a half court or something. They might try to go all the way down though, it's six seconds. It. That ain't a big deal though, they got the lead of the half. This is insane. Only down by one of the half. Wow. I, I'm impressed guys. I'm impressed, surprised, all of the above. Ooh, going to the free throw line. He nails his first one. Can we get another miss? I really like the momentum of the game if he misses this next shot. Mason Gillis. I think he's actually a better free throw shooter than Edie, if I'm correct. So he'll probably make this one too. Yep. Yup, he's got it. Man. As I said earlier, I picked Purdue to go to the Sweet 16, but that does not stop me from rooting the other way. Just for the hell of chaos. They gotta hit a three here. Just listen to how electrifying it became. This Purdue crowd's back in it. That's the last thing you wanted to happen if you were FDU. You need a three here. Something big. Momentum's really starting to shift. And he messed up on the rebound. The energy has shifted. I'm not feeling too good now. Yeah, this one's about to get out of hand, guys. It took forever, but I think I think we're about done. Yeah, boy. I, yeah, I think this one's about done for the fairly Dickinson Knights. Guys, it's back down to one possession game. They aren't going away. So even if they lose, it's still gonna be a good thing. Go away. Should be a tied game. They got screwed there. Should be a tie. Go figure. Wow. FDU! 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 There you go. There you go. Rebound. Hey, but what was looking bleak about three or four minutes ago is now looking all right. Tied ball game. 
It could be a buzzer beater to decide this one. But it's still their ball, though. Hey, bro, go back to full locker. I think it's up to you all. Gotta keep the faith, guys. Gotta keep the faith. And we're going to witness history for the second time in NCAA history. A one, a 16 over a one. John. Hold on for history. Hitting a three here would be big. I'm, I almost think it's over if they make a three. Give it to him. Oh, he still can't knock one down. He still can't do it. Stop him, come on. Stop! Yeah! Let's go! Work that inside, boys. Work that inside. Oh, that's so painful. Only, only up by one. Can't afford to miss some shots this late in the game. I'm bored with this upset, that's why. History in the making. Defense! 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 
Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! Defense! I wouldn't say that, man. Alright guys, we're probably it. That was the last TV timeout. This one might be over. Wow. Long way from being over. Yes. Yes. Oh no. I believe. Oh no. I believe. Here we go. Yes. Foul. I believe. No, no foul, good. I believe you can do it. Run that clock down. You just gotta like the chances right now, down by five. They've done every little key thing that they needed to do. They played the press well. They limited Edie to 21 points. So once they play the timer, does that mean that'll be the last time they play? What's that? Once, once the timer starts running, that's the last time it'll run until the next game. Possibly. Probably, I would imagine. Unless they foul a lot, that's where games slow down. There's yeah. a lot of fouling. And, if, and Purdue's gonna try to foul if they miss here. I'm gonna start videoing. Gotta like their chances though. Foul? Question is, do they foul? Do they foul? They can still play defense and get it back. Wow. No, no, no. Wow. They're playing defense. They're gonna let the clock run down. Let's go! Play under review, go figure. There you go. 
about to make a decision here. Digging some more. Take it simple, guys.
This one's over. I mean, guys, I, I can't believe it. I saw UMBC destroy Virginia. I could not believe it. That, to me, I, it's not harder to believe because it's already happened. But I'm still in shock about it. I still can't get over it. It's crazy. The FDU, they just, things worked for them, and, it, and that's how the madness happens. Last year, really? Yeah, now it's time to witness possible more history. Let's see if we see the first ever 16 versus 8 matchup, which would mean Memphis has to win this one. But single-handedly, guys, I was, I, I was not expecting the level of chaos that we saw just in one game. So I don't know what this game's going to bring. Maybe it's like a, a quadruple overtime game or something, but I'm hoping it's crazy. Because we were fortunate enough to see a 16 beat a 1 for the second time ever. Let's see if an 8 versus a 9 happens or some kind of crazy quadruple or 10 dribble overtime or whatever happens. Guys, I have a bold prediction. Fairly Dickinson will be the first 16 seed to ever make it to the school 16. I'm calling it. They're beating the winner of this game. As good as both of these teams are, I just I have that feeling. It's a crazy year. I think FDU will be the first one seed to ever make it to the 16. Because at this point, with Purdue being out, that, that, that's all I can really root for. Same thing with Princeton going to the Elite Eight or something. I just, I kind of hope for chaos at this point. Just because that's what I think any fan of basketball or March Madness would hope for. Well, update guys. Update guys. Uh, Miami just busted my bracket. I had Drake going to the Elite Eight, and Miami just beat them in the first round. My bracket is pretty much total at this point. So, I mean, I'm, I'm giving up on that, but I'll probably play the, the second chance bracket uh, Monday or whenever that comes out for the Sweet 16. But, uh, yeah, kind of down about that. But, I mean, it is great, though, that I, I got to be here for that game. Yeah, guys, I'm totally shot. I can't even believe, like... It's so crazy to me that what I just witnessed happened that I cannot even focus on watching this game. And now this game is getting out of hand. Like, it's just, it's not as good as I thought it would be. I thought this was going to be the, the, the game that I was really going to love. And, like, it, this would be the game that everyone was tuned into. You know, this game just looks like it might get real boring. And the last one was surprisingly one to remember. But yeah, honestly, I'm just out of it. this rad Vermont shirt. I picked them to win earlier, so I decided to buy a shirt. No kidding. 
But unfortunately, fortunately they let me down though, so. Probably wasn't all worth it to buy their shirt. Yeah, we're outside the arena right now, just, like I said, took all the energy out of us, but you know, great game. Something I won't, something I'll never forget, that's for sure. I'll, uh, it's been a nice vlog, guys. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Peace.